Welcome back. I'm Tyler. You're watching Scarfing Scarves, and welcome to the second installment of our brand new series, Frock Talk with Tyler Willis. It has been asked of me multiple times to show my wardrobe one dress at a time quite seriously, like not a joke, and now I'm going to do that whether you want to or not. And that is the essence of Frock Talk, one dress a week, every week, until we run out of dresses, which could happen never because I have the self-control of a gnat. So this week's rendition is a dress that is extremely special to me and I was so happy to finally get, and we will pull it out now. This is Milky Chan. Milky Chan the Fawn, ribbon style JSK, Originally released in 2009 in 100% cotton, it is the most gorgeous dress ever and holds an extreme amount of very important memories for me because when I first got into Lolita fashion, this was the dress that I just fell in love with, which was unfortunate because there were replicas everywhere, just everywhere and i'll put a picture up for you just so you can see how awful it was they're terrible fabric worse cuts and this was just out of my little babby lolita reach at the time and i loved it so much and i saw a girl on youtube wearing the white version and she was just such an inspiration at the time because there weren't lolita youtubers they didn't exist like it was a blip practically but she was just wearing it and talking about like accepting yourself in lolita fashion and it she was so cute and her room was great and it just brings me back to those days in the early times before I'd before I'd cultivated <laughs> this this extreme example of lack of self-control that you see around you there was Milky Chan the fawn just almost like a fantasy of mine to ever own and I looked I looked for years and years and finally I found it brand new with tags. Like if you've seen the wardrobe video, you know when I first told you about this dress and the reason I revisited it now is because I remain, I remain obsessed and we've started a new series and this, it's a good way to go off with a bang. It's for me specifically. And this dress is just everything that's beautiful and wonderful about the fashion. You have little bunnies and little puff balls and lipsticks. I didn't notice the lipstick until now! I am a bad Lolita! <laughs> I just noticed the lipsticks and the little bunnies reaching up like up up and the little fawn like little Milky Chan. I just realized the bunny wants a ride! Oh, I never put those two together! The bunny wants a ride! And it's beautiful and wonderful and lovely and there's little hearts. I remember when I first told you about this dress, I just noticed the hearts. You know, it's like you, there's so much wonderful, like gorgeous things to look at. And I just, I love the little ribbons and the little pearls and just, just even owning this dress feels like a dream for me. Like something that was never going to happen. And it just, it just came practically out of the ether and I jumped on it. <laughs> much less ether-like, much more like falcon going for kill-like. <laughs> and was just over the moon to own it. And it just brings me so much happiness just to look at it. And I found the matching head bow and <laughs> came after that like a falcon too. And it's just beautiful. And I just love how sweet and cute and fluffy it is. It's just everything that I love about Sweet Lolita in one dress. And it means the world to me. And I'm just so glad to be able to share it with you here today instead of sitting there bitterly, <laughs> you know, stroking my, my evil villain's cat as I plot to take over the fabric industry just to make a Milky Chan the Fawn. I was close to super villainry by then. Like, I just, I love it so much. So let's, let's have one more look at Milky Chan the Fawn and I will give you gorgeous detail images, I swear, without my nattering. But let's just look at the hearts and the gifts and the fawn and the little bunny and random floating lamps that have no business being there but are and they're cute so I don't blame them. And just bask in the wonderful sweet little world that Milky Chan the Fawn and her little bunny friend live in. It's wonderful, it's beautiful, and I love it. And then I have to put it back now, so.
we'll put it back. All right, wraps up another installment, our second installment of Frock Talks. So I hope you enjoyed it. There's many more to come. Please leave a comment in the comments below for the one you would like to see next. I have a hard time choosing things, especially Lolita things. So your commenting does help, especially my patrons. I still do read public YouTube comments, but I just, I don't have as much time as I used to because I'm starting making three videos a week and that's very time intensive. And now I am like on the grindstone at all times, but I will go out of my fracking way. I will, I will drive caffeine through my skull to answer my patrons because you guys have made all of this show's progress possible and I thank you for it. So if you would like to join their number, if you would like to get two videos ahead of the public every week, a week ahead, as well as behind the scenes looks and help me pick things and topics, my patrons have been supportive enough to pick two topics you guys don't even know about yet. You might know by the time this one comes up. If you would like to join their number, you can head over to patreon.com slash lastweeklolitanews for more of that kind of content. You should also know that this show is sponsored in part by BB&B. &B. They are the best jewelry company I have ever, ever interacted with. I love their work. I loved our collaboration. And you can find a link to their shop below. Thanks again, guys, and I'll catch you next time.